Hey guys, this is Nathan. Welcome to the first episode of Punter's Pre-Mortem. The Triple X Special of the weekend comes up in race 9 at Flemington. It's Prince Arata. Although he's beaten over 1,200 last start at Flemington, the rise into the 1,400 where he's been placed at the track and trip behind Hucklebuck, who uh, eventually went on to win a Group 1, is good enough form for this and he'll be winning on Saturday. The cheeky, sneaky, each way better this weekend is Boomer in race six at Rose Hill. The favourite craftiness will be short in the market, it'll be 230, but with 50 kilos coming from Melbourne, straight races, he's good enough to win on Saturday, and for $13, it's an each way chance, so get on. On the turn, 500 out, fearless, Bright and my axman are together, a length and a half, Lawman, Kingston Town can't win. Grover and Kingston Town flashing, he might win yet the champ. Grover took the lead off, Kingston Town swapping them. What a run, Kingston Town wins it and to Grover. The first can't win file, we're going for the big boy, our boy Malachi, the Rockhampton Rocket. Uh, he's been racing consistently, obviously winning 17 of 19, but it's in listed or lower graded. This is a group one where he's facing horses with superior form and I think that he can't win on Saturday. To moving on to the first leg of the quaddy and with the scratching of Najoon and Dublin Lass, it looks a race that Perron have a really big chance to winning. Uh, so my numbers are 4, 1 and 6. For Perron has contested group 1s and comes back to this mare's grade after a disappointing run at Mooney Valley, but she should bounce back here. Uh, the one solicit uh, has had better form as a two-year-old. Hasn't shown it so far this preparation, but with that trial win, I think she'll be better off. And six piece force is the value in the race. Uh, be better suited at 1400 to 1600, but uh, she's too good to leave out. So I think those are my numbers, four, one and six. Race 8, the Lord Mayor's Cup over 2,000 metres. My numbers are 3, 4, 8 and 10. 3, Ecuador, was impressive first up over the 1,400 metres. And ideally we would have liked him more so last week over a mile instead of the 2,000 this week. But I think that he would have had enough work to get fit for this and he, on his day he's better than these horses. 4, Malice was in, was in superstar form last preparation. He had a bit of a flat one second up last week but I think he'll improve back to Rose Hill. So he goes in. Eight, our Voodoo Prince. has been placed over the 2,000 metres of Rose Hill behind Pornichet, which has turned out to be good form. And uh, is likely to be an improver at odds next this weekend. And 10, Silver Boy has been impressive since coming to Australia. Although he's beaten a Flemington over a mile, I think the 2,000 will, will suit him this weekend and is, is among one of the chances. Race nine is the Hawkesbury Guineas over 1,400 metres. My numbers are two, nine, and 10. Two Federals coming off a last start listed win over the same distance on a slow track, and basically meeting the same field. So he's got to be on top this week, and uh, hopefully go back to back. Nine Anyas is coming off a last start second to slightly sweet in a group three on soft ground uh, with a three kilo swing on Federal might cause an upset in this one. And 10, Nijum, even although it's midweek form, you don't know how good that horse is going to end up, so we've got to put it in as well. Uh, so my numbers are 2, 9, and 10. Blackwood's handicap over 1,500 metres. My numbers are 18, 11, and 5. So in a race that pretty much every horse in it can win, I've set on 18, uh, two victories in a row, so she's going well. She's comes away from Warwick Farm, but she's got Brendan Abdullah on board, so hopefully he can give her a peach and get the money in the last. 11 electric powers coming off a of placing at the provisional championships at Ramwick, which is not bad form, is sure and fast winning that race. On slow ground, so she handles that. Uh, could be a chance at value odds. And five, quick strike. Uh, if he's going to be winning a derby, he would want to be running really competitive in this race on Saturday. So I put him in. Hopefully one of our horses can win in the last because this is a tough race. The rock and rangy rang do is joining in on the outside. Is it his day to day? It's road to rock and rangy rang do fighting it out. Rangy rang do on the outside is in front and rangy rang do gets his group one. 